Hi, my name is Genesee and I'm going to be your chakra guide for this March. So if you are here, you are here because you are ready to get really conscious about your energy and what that means is we're going to do an internal review of what we're going through physically emotionally mentally and spiritually through our chakra system to see what kind of experiences we're having what our mastery is and then what this entire month's meaning is for us those of us who like to walk really consciously and connected to everything that's happening and transitioning here in this quantum now moment, this infinite now moment. So how you choose to live your life, what choices you make, what decisions, what thoughts, what feelings you have now dictates how your energetic field is going to show up over not only the next day, but the next week, the next year, and it's going to imprint on and on and on. So what are you doing, thinking, feeling now that might change your life tomorrow? So that's what we read here at Chakras Root to Crown. That that's why we get really conscious here in the beginning of the month, the new moon and the full moon, to make sure that we're walking a fully connected and conscious path. So stick with me and we're going to review what this month is all about, March the three month, this human month, and why we waited to the new moon to do the first reading this month. So stay tuned and we'll go into picking your path next. Just a little bit different here. Those of you who follow, um, I've gotten some emails from you. So, so sorry that, uh, that there was not a monthly video at the first of this month, at um, March 1st, but that was all very intentional and unintentional, as I typically like to say. When we live uh, physical and non-physical at the same time, things tend to hit us in both of those realities at the same time. So there were reasons physically why I did not um, do a, um, a video in the beginning of the month, but there was a lot of non-physical energy that was aligning to make sure that I did not produce a video for you at the beginning of the month because we needed all of that time. We needed this time, the first um, 10 to 14 days of this month cycle, this human month, this three month to really see who we are, see if we've been living within the mastery of our chosen unique expression. Why are you here, right? And if you have been following me, then you know last month we ended on a very collective energy. Both red and blue path had the same duality come up at the full moon. It was the low self-esteem energy. It was a hypo solar plexus chakra, which means there was the healing of that identity, the healing of the part of us, the part of our truth that says, I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. I'm not worthy of these things. Um, that who I am, what I am is not worth putting out in this world. And I know that's an extreme case of the hypo solar plexus chakra or those who question their identity. But truly everything we lived through last year was this 2020 was this who am I at the core? What am I? What are my actual beliefs? What is society telling me to believe and what do I believe? What is it that, you know, that um, I am still going to hold true and what am I going to let go of? We had to go through some major life shifts and changes last year to get us to where we are now. And as we sit here now in this quantum now moment, this infinite potential moment, we are being given this gift of being asked to live our truth, live our identity, live this purpose in this life. And so we were given this really interesting January and February of 2021, which was the new beginning. It was all about coming out as the new you. Again, slowly things started to open up in this world. We had, in North America at least, we had some massive elections to show where we were still buying into our light and dark, our shadow, um, our beliefs, our structures that we needed to review and, and come to terms with um, in a micro and macrocosm way. We had all of these things coming up, right, to help us slowly make this transition from what was the old 
old paradigm into then what is this new essence, this new energy, this new reality to live our truth. And so January and February became this pop in, you get to live your new identity, but then February comes up and brings all that duality back. And it was as if January and February were a big test for us. And February ended on this crescendo moment of your identity, your truth. Are you really ready to run full steam ahead to do you for the rest of your life? And and this was the end of February. It was this big collective imprint for every single human on this earth to really stop click in and say, is this who I am? Is this what I am? Is is this what I want to carry forward, right? And and there should have been some massive reviews, some lot, a lot of self-reflective uh, moments. There just should have been a very big inward focus on who am I, what am I, and what am I carrying forward? And now as we enter this cycle of March, we're being asked to live this truth. Undeniably, we are being asked to be the humans now that we've intended ourselves to be. Now, if you're scared that you're maybe living the old paradigm you or a old belief system or still living in the patterns, at this point, what Divine would tell you is who you are right now is exactly who you're supposed to be. And if you're carrying patterns, which if you're still human, I guarantee you, you're still carrying patterns forward. But what we're being asked to do is trust in who we are at this moment to be able to review everything that is still lying underneath that needs to be resolved. And so the goal here is trust in who we are at this moment, this precipice moment of entering this new cycle. And March is all about this amazing opportunity to be exactly who we are in this moment, to get the fullest, to understand at the deepest levels that we've ever understood ourselves at before. And so March is the human month. It's the three um, numerology, which is all about the human. It's the one, which is the absolute, you know, infinite potential. It's the God energy plus the two, which is the duality or the separation from that. So the one plus the two equals the three, which which makes us the humans after we've had this massive shift in consciousness and reality from the 2020. We are now living this in the five, which is the change year, which means everything we bring forth now is going to be this evolution of who we are, right? So as we click into this three month, this March month here in 2021, what we're really learning is how to be this new identity, how to be living in this new reality, right? What human on this earth is not living in a new reality based off of last year? We all got our butts kicked and shifted into this new way of living, this new knowledge, this new understanding of being not only a human as a part of a big um, collective, but also this which is uniquely us in this experience. And so here we are now at this first opening the door moment and ready to bring our ourselves out and say, this is who I am. I trust in what I've learned. I know myself deeply enough to now face every single change that is going to be needed and required, not only of me, but of everybody outside of me, because our collective is still going through a massive shift. This year is shifting us constantly. Yet here, as we stand at the beginning of March, we are ready. We are, we should be finally ready to um, to open ourselves back up to what that means. And so there should be this now strength and connection to yourself at least and what you've gone through and how this has created a new understanding, a new identity. And then that is what's getting ushered forth in the world. And so what, what divine would hope from us at this point is that we have enough of an understanding of ourselves that we can go out and face every hurdle, every change that is still going to come in through the rest of 2021 so that we can leave our unique 
unique mark, our unique imprint, our unique signature. Because again, we are finally ready to bring that mark, that signature, that unique imprint into the world and fight for it, stand up for it, be the living embodiment of this new energy, which is you, this new you. So this new you finally gets its new lease. This is March. This is the door opening back to the world that says, all right, what are you going to do with it? And now the world is coming to meet you and saying, let's see how many things we can throw at you. Now that you think you know who you are, let's see how many things we can give you, how many life experiences we can bring you to get you to really um, connect even more fully with who you're presenting to this world, right? So this rest of the path from, you know, April all the way to December, it's now going to be how do you do you best um, in every circumstance, situation, experience that you um, that you have. And so now we're going to look at the pick your path. So that is kind of the energy, the anchor numerology wise of what we step into this March. And, um, and the unique, interesting thing, as we look at the picking your path options now, we're going to review the red path and the blue path. Um, and again, why you would pick these paths, why you stay and pick a specific path and carry that through the rest of the month is because what we're doing is we're trying to really get conscious on who am I? What decisions was I making? What choices? What feelings? What thoughts have I been having? Have I been entertaining that have now created this reality outside of me that I need to understand is going to be what creates my reality moving forward? And so this is how we look at you at all of these different levels. We pick a path so you can really hone in on the specific mastery that's um, that's connecting to you this month. And we do this as a collective um, and we work on this as a collective because again we're here working through numerology working through our chakra system and now working through specific energies within those chakra systems that all of us will end up having and playing with so as you go through this month of self um, self mastery and really learn how to um, how to be you in a in a evolving way in a constantly changing and evolving cycle um, how will you know how to get through this month? So um, the beginning of the month, again, why I didn't come in at the beginning of the month was because we had this collective energy in February. And the collective energy that ended February, the duality at the full moon, said we are all letting go of that final piece of, of our low self-esteem, that final piece of the hypo solar plexus chakra that says who you are is still not good enough to shine in this world. And so that was the ending conclusion of February. It's like we've got to let go of that duality. Who I am is good enough to shine in this world and I am ready to do that. I'm ready to shine in this world as I am. And so um, in having that be the collective imprint for red and blue path at the end of the month, we knew that we were entering this really strong cycle, um, a really strong almost test cycle to see who are you and what is going to be this next phase? And so as we click in now, red and blue path, we're not going to look at what was happening in um, February because we know that everybody collectively was coming from that letting go of that last bit of self-doubt, that letting go of that last bit of what was holding you locked into that old pattern. And so how we want to start this month and why we waited until the new moon of this month to bring this pick your path option out was because we want to um, follow up with you uh, regarding your mastery, not follow up with you regarding what you were doing last month because we know who you were last month. And now what we want to see is how well have you been living your mastery? So we've got two options here and um, and we're going to start with the mastery. So what I want you to review and um, take this nice first deep breath, inhaling in, and exhaling out, what I want you to get really focused on is from the beginning of this month all the way up until now, was so just this last week, 
what has been your experience, right? Where have you been excelling? Where have you been seeing your strengths? Where have you been so proud of yourself? Or where has that um, passion, where has that excitement been coming from? Because again, what we were dealing with in letting go at the end of last month was letting go those false identities, those imprisonments of the old you. And we have really now gotten a whole burst of energy that is supporting the divine you, the purpose of you. And so I want to you to focus on already your mastery and pick your path based off your mastery. So for red path, the mastery energy is all about the artist. And we'll talk about that in a moment. And for blue path, the uh, mastery energy is all about healing, the healing or healing and so now we're gonna break these down one by one and um, after we break these down I want you to pick your path based off of the experiences that you've already been having um, and we want you to listen in a state of mind to know maybe you would not have identified yourself as the master of this energy but I want you to listen to know that this is where your mastery is coming in let these words as we explain the artist and the healer Healer, let these words come in to give you validation of where part of your mastery is that maybe is an example of what you didn't understand was a part of this destiny, this purpose that's operating within you. So maybe you just thought, hey, this beginning of March has been, you know, just another few weeks. And, you know, I didn't think I was mastering much of anything. You know, I didn't think I was good and I didn't think I was bad. But, you know, when you listen to where this mastery energy comes in, Maybe you'll get a clue as to how this divine component of you is really coming out as a master energy within your field. So we're going to start with Red Path and the artist. So again, listen to see if this is how you've been expressing yourself. And maybe this is part of your divine purpose here as this new human. So the Red Path is all about the artist, which is all about the mind and connection to your passion. And so at the beginning of this month, again, for these last two weeks, if you've been somebody who um, who you, you typically operate above the shoulders is what I say, you're typically operating up in this field, the mental field. It's all about, I think it, I can, I can come up with 10 great ideas before lunchtime. I'm the person who gets, you know, gets human things done, you know, again, before breakfast even starts and my kids are out the door. If you're somebody who just you have so much going on here you can you can organize you can calculate you can really get things finely tuned in you have tons of ideas tons of inspiration um, but maybe that was the old you as somebody who could constantly come up with all these great things but maybe it was hard to find what do I do where do I feel into what is my thing right what is it I can come up with all this stuff but maybe I do it for work and it's great but it's not my stuff. It's not my business, right? I'm doing it for other people. Um, and, and maybe if it's, you know, being that way for your friends or you're just this source of inspiration, you can always create and come up with great ideas, great, just great things come into your mind. And so the shift and the change here um, that the, creates this mastery of the artist is that there has been an emotional resonance. There has been passion. There has been excitement there has been creativity and so this is sacral chakra connected to your third eye chakra when sacral chakra and third eye chakra connect together in this way it creates this insane like manifestation energy for what you've been thinking then the energy to create it comes in and it's like you're unstoppable so this could be somebody who again for these past two weeks you've had motivation to do projects that you've thought of for a long time and I don't care if this is like stuff around your house I don't care if this is like you know doodling on on scratch pieces of paper it could be something to you that seems so trivial but what divine would tell you is this is just the beginning my friend this is where part of your mastery is coming to the forefront you have this artist capacity and the mastery that's unfolding within you the human right now is that of the energy of the artist. 
And the artist is the one that can think it, feel it, and create it. This is this is having both energies on fire and being able to then think it and then get the energy, cultivate the human energy, that desire, that creativity, that passion to then bring a vibrancy to what you're thinking so that thought form doesn't stay just in this mental field. That thought form actually becomes a vibration in your body that moves your hand, that moves your body, that moves you in a way to get it done and do it. And so my friend, wherever this is expressing through you, again, I don't care if it's the fact that you've been inspired to to paint your dog's toenails, right? <laughs> Wherever this energy is expressing itself, it is coming out showing you that what you think when the vibration of your creativity, your passion, your um, your excitement hits that thought form, you can manifest it, you can create it, you can birth it into this reality. And that is the mastery of being an artist here as a human. It has nothing to do with a paintbrush in your hand or drawing something. Something, even though I did use very creative examples to explain the artist. This could be somebody who, who had that business plan idea and then had so much cultivated um, excitement over them seeing the business plan come to be that they were able to write out the business plan. And now you have a solid physical and um, uh, manifestation of what that which was in your head is now representing in this earth space, right? So this is the mastery of the red path. Um, again, if in the beginning of this month, if you've had this energy come in, then you are going to be walking the red path. And what we're going to go over next is the initiation that should be happening right now. Um, because again, we're launching this, um, this message here right around the new moon energy. And so there should be an activation of energy coming in, a new new inspiration and new energy and we'll talk about that in a moment and then um, we'll talk about the full moon which will bring in some of the duality that could prevent you from living fully in this mastery energy throughout the rest of the course of this year um, but you know again just let these words be validations if you've had this energy um, where a lot of passion you've just been able to get things done and have that excitement and that's the key passion energy or a heightened safety sacral chakra energy, a heightened sacral chakra energy in the emotional field that can pull in the um, physical energy of the third eye chakra, which is an actual logical, rational idea that serves the human, <clears throat> which is the physical manifestation of the third eye chakra. When that marries the emotional manifestation of the sacral chakra, you are unstoppable. You are, an, you are a birthing force in this reality. You will be able to um, cultivate passion, creativity, and excitement towards everything that is a mental construct. And that is, that's like Einstein level stuff, right? So <laughs> Einstein being the artist in this, um, the master artist in this uh, explanation for Red Path. So if you want to be Einstein, pick Red Path. Um, okay, well, or maybe Divine is saying, because you are Einstein, you can pick Red Path. So then we're going to get into Blue Path. So now, if blue path and the mastery of what's showing up here sounds more like the beginning of your month, then you will be walking blue path. So um, blue path, what you have been doing, and this can be, it should be for you, but it should also probably be you've been a vessel for this outside of you. So just hold space for all things. Um, not only have you been working on this energy for yourself, but you've probably been facilitating this energy for things outside, people outside of you as well. So um, Blue Path, it's all about manifesting healing energy. So we would say this as in the healing, the healer, the healed. <laughs> um, and so this is all about... Um, uh, it's the emotional energy of the heart chakra, which is going to be compassion. Um, it can even be empathy, compassion, sensitivity, that empathic ability, right? It's that, that heightened sensitivity level, but it's a heart vibration where for Red Path, we were talking about this heightened emotional um, in the sacral chakra, which is it inspires a feeling, right? It inspires an actual vibration of like excitement 
passion, where a heart vibration is more of this ability to um, to be in resonance with any of the feelings that are happening outside of you. Think of it as more as like empathy, being able to put yourself into somebody else's shoes um, instead of the heightened passion or excitement that comes from the emotional range of the sacral chakra. This is the empathy, the ability to feel anything and hold a high level of vibration no matter what, which we consider the healing vibration. When you can be connected to anything and hold a level of love, unconditional love, support, knowing, understanding that then shifts the vibration of everything outside of you to raise to meet you at that level. So now, um, Blue Path, this is the healer energy, which means the beginning week or two of your month um, for March should have been connected to relationships. Um, it should have been all about one-on-one -on -one relationships. And again, you should have been a main a main um, vessel for this energy and probably experienced a lot of the healing yourself. Um, but in, um, you know, a lot of times um, we can observe ourselves from one level but not the other level. So I'll say it should have been hitting you on both levels. Maybe one you're doing well and one you're doing not so well. Um, so we call this like typically in healing words, we call this the wounded healer where they can heal other people's problems really well but then they can't heal their own problems really well or they can deal with their own problems really well but then when it comes to like you know having compassion for these people's problems it could be a little bit harder right so you got to be doing one of these really well and maybe a little bit blind or not focused on the other level that's just typically how the um the healer energy comes in when we're first starting to work with it when you get into that master level which they're saying you are when you get into the master level of the healer you tend to be aware of all of it so um the blue path again for the mastery for you, again, what divine wants to come in and say is if you're walking blue path, they want you to realize you are the master healer. And I love this because that was the journey we, we put out for last month was the master healer journey was really clicking people into their master healer potential. And I love that um, we would go from a collective imprint last month that was releasing that final block. And now here in the beginning of this month, they're saying, look, some of of you really accepted that and have now fully embodied this master healer energy and so again it's all about working on one-on-one -on -one relationships at a heart level and so what this means is not you know when we don't work at a heart level we tend to get into blame guilt grief jealousy all of these you know negative connotations of the emotional plane where we project and we don't own the energy but when you become the master healer you can hold the vibration that allows anybody to experience whatever they need to experience and you can be there as a support. You can be in that same um, unity consciousness. You can be connected in a way that makes a person feel like they're being understood, they're heard, they're, they feel accepted in what they're going through, yet it does not make you more dense so this allows you to be the healer in the situation again so the person who would be on blue path you would have had a lot of one-on-one -on -one things come up this last month whether it was you healing your own romantic or personal relationships if it was you going and reviewing past hurts <laughs> that um now have made you need to um review you know who was i what was i and why did that happen if you were doing a lot of these mind games trying to figure out a lot of the patterns in relationships in the past and trying to raise that understanding to a new understanding shifting that energy through compassion and heart resonance right not blaming or being vindictive or being spiteful um so allowing the healing to happen holding space for that healing to happen again you could have facilitated this for yourself you could have been called into other people's relationship problems you could have been the mediator, you could have been the wise one that had the information that was able to see clearly or give feedback 
or be able to express just um, just that empathy, that compassion that was needed for another person to see what they were going through. Again, you know, a healer doesn't mean you have to be doing Reiki over somebody to facilitate the healing. It doesn't mean you have to be the doctor or the therapist. It can simply mean being able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes when you're called upon holding that highest vibration of unconditional love for whatever they're going through without judgment and that naturally shifts the vibration allowing the healing energy to happen or the healing that's needed to happen so those who can hold a high vibration of love with non-judgment and no expectation for what needs to be the outcome that is a master healer and so again blue path your mastery um, again whether you know this about yourself or not the validation comes in to say look you're a healer because of who you are what you've been called this is the part of your authentic identity that is coming out and again as we walk from this moment forward hearing these words blue path your mastery is this healer ability red path your mastery is the artist ability the artist that can think feel, and then create anything into manifestation. Again, the healer being able to hold a high vibration with non-judgment, no expectation, and simply love to allow energy to come in to support other humans that are going through things or to support yourself, right? Shifting vibrations, healing situations. Um, I, I want to walk both paths this month. I want to be both of these things. Um, so at this time, I would ask you, pick the one that seems most resonant. Again, I always know there are those of you that listen to both. If you do, you're most likely going to get aspects of both because innately we all share all of these collective constructs. We all have our chakras um, operating multidimensionally in connection on all of these planes. But the goal here is to pick in this quantum now moment based off of the most aligned information and experiences that you have already had what is the most prevalent right now because we don't want to be walking multiple timelines we do not want to fractal our energy separating our energy out it makes things so much harder right now there is one very clear um, path it's the divine path it's the divine design of your existence right now and so pick that know that this is what's coming through now yes you are all of these things in some aspect but there is something that is wanting to express itself through you very powerfully right now and so that's what we're getting very clear on so pick red or blue based off of exactly who you've been over the um, first of March all the way up until today you know what experiences have you been having that really resonate either with red or blue path and now as we move into um, going through these fully you can now hear what's gonna um, what's going to be coming in through the new moon which is you know right around this time the um, the activations or the you know the um, infusion of energy that'll be hitting your path right now and then what you can expect towards the end of the month with the full moon so and the duality that'll pop up there is the test to make sure you are willing to continue living and holding this sacred energy moving forward so um go ahead and pick now um red path stay with me here blue path go to the time stamp that you see um if you want just move forward um and go there and listen for blue path again I don't recommend you listen to both just because it will um, separate the energy which means you're not living um, you're not living a hundred percent in what's quantumly presenting now unless you're 50 50 then I guess you can walk both paths until one just becomes really clear um, but you know do it how you feel called to do it and we're gonna go right into red path now so red path again i track out here um so just i'm gonna have a lot of eye light and eyesight out beyond the camera this way um so forgive me when i do that 
Um, and let's see. So very interesting. If I would hope you would be somebody who picked this one and was like, I really love the blue path and the master healer energy. Um, but I know I'm red path. So if you were one of those people, then I applaud you for picking this. You're being um, greatly rewarded because the infusion of energy that you get is the master healer energy. <laughs> so um, you are being uh, handsomely rewarded for picking this path. Um, and the infusion of energy that's coming in right now is this master healer energy. And so it's all about your relationships and your compassion, your ability to hold a higher vibration vibration and love. And so again, if you picked red path, you would have picked red path because you were having experiences um, in the beginning of the month of just really being on fire, being able to see and think things. And then because you feel it strongly, you create it. You're in alignment. You're at the perfect place at the perfect time to create what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And when you are in that flow, when you are in that clear of a connected flow, the world is your oyster, honestly you can create and manifest what you need and stay very connected to what's going to um what's going to keep you in the most i guess we would say aligned path moving forward when you do things when you think things and don't feel it like think about work, right? If you're having, if you have a nine to five that you're, you like, but you're not a hundred percent passionate about and you have to do these projects and they have deadlines. Think back to that. When you produce those projects, um, on a crazy deadline that it, you're not inspired to do it at all. It's forcing, it's like pushing an elephant up a mountain, right? It's like back breaking labor. It's like pulling random things from you that just don't fit. And it doesn't come together until that final moment when it has to come together, right? It's like pulling teeth. It's just the worst case scenario. And so that is the complete opposite of what they're saying you've tapped into. They're saying you've tapped into a flow of working that keeps you really aligned to the most, um, to the most, um, congruent or, or or highest um, uh, path, right? It's keeping you in this per, it's like, I always say, it's like the bumper lanes when you put up the bumper lanes on bowling. It's like when you have the bumper lanes up, you're constantly gonna be put right down the middle and get the best case scenario for how many pins you knock down. And that's what this energy is. When you can stay very connected in your mental field and what only do and produce from your mental field what you have energy and excitement to produce, you are always at the right place at the right time. You are in this the highest order of the divine universe. You are literally like reviewing the blueprint blueprints of the universe and building exactly what's needed when it needs to be built. Um, and there is nothing better, nothing, nothing sweeter. Sometimes you don't know why you did it. Sometimes you you don't know how it's going to manifest, but to be in that flow means you are right on schedule and it's not your schedule. And that's the hard thing, because again, if we put you back to work, work has a schedule. And sometimes when it's on the human timeline, the human schedule, you know what the outcome or what the result should be, but the energy sometimes isn't there. And that means you're doing things at a lower vibrational timeline. When you do things at the divine timeline, which means the head and the sacral chakra, the head, the mind, the, the thoughts and the energy come together to create moments um, when you can do things and you feel passionate to do things. And again, these don't have to be huge world changing things. It can be changing the light bulb at the right time in your house, right? You know, I mean, silly things. But when you are a part of the divine organization and flow, um, everything seems to get swept into that current and life just is so much easier. And so congratulations for finding that flow. Let's hope you can keep it to the end of the year <laughs> because this is a change year and oh by God, is everything gonna try and get you out of that flow? And we'll talk about what the main catalyst is going to be when we get to the full moon, the last energy we review. So again, back to the infusion of energy that's coming in right now around the new moon for you, the new moon infusion, it tends to, the new moon tends to, um, create this, um, this shock wave of, um, right. The new moon is when the actual moon, um, goes completely, um, black, right. And then it starts to incrementally increase in size, right? So, um, 
is it it's the waxing moon forgot that for a minute so then the womb the womb the moon starts to increase in size and get bigger and bigger and bigger and so from the complete blackness which is this we've gone from darkness to now um now to light um what's gonna happen is we're gonna slowly start to get this energy pumped into our field right so just take the infusion of energy like that and what usually happens is it's a light bulb moment we go from the blackness of the new moon right we didn't know what was happening and now we have the wisdom that's what all of this red blue path is about you get the wisdom of what you've been experiencing consciously and now as we give you the wisdom the intuition or the um this um first alignment of the new moon comes in and it's like this lightning bolt this shock wave that brings in this infusion of energy that's going to continually incrementally increase until you get tested at the very end of the month and so um the infusion of energy for you is all about um it's all about this healing energy which is interesting it's what we were explaining for the blue path so the healing energy comes in and it says okay you've been working here in um in a way that you've been producing things and doing it when you feel it you've been working this way now you can hear that everything we've been talking about has been a very solo down the river on your own raft you've only had to be navigating these currents for yourself you can be it's really now easy it's become more streamlined for you to feel what it feels like to be in the flow of your own river of your own current when you think it when you feel it boom you create it and it's done now what divine is saying is you work with people and part of what you're doing is growing what you're creating you need to now expand and so how do you expand we're going to bring in a relationship one if not many and in these relationships now what we're going to ask you to do is to still do what you're doing remember mastery is the biggest energy you need to maintain here and your mastery is the artist it's knowing when you think it and feel it create it now the infusion says okay what we're going to start to do is bring in relationships and these relationships are going to try and get you out either in a in a different current a different river they're going to be pulling on you they're going to be expecting things they're going to be offering different opinions just like any good relationship should right somebody outside of us not knowing exactly what we're thinking and feeling right and creating they're going to come in with different opinions and so for you what's going to be needed is to know how to manage the expectations know how to manage and hear and hold a level of compassion um hold your vibration really high as these relationships come in and and you're going to be asked now to do what you've been doing thinking and feeling um and creating but do it while you're also doing this with the partnerships and so what it's saying is that there now are partnerships or relationships most likely that have already been connected to you because it seems like this first round will be some of your romantic partnerships or business partnerships or really deep friendships that have been around you for a while as you've been um exposing more of your mastery this artistry and so now what's going to come up is is some of the more um deep deep um uh deeper i want to use the word issues but i don't want to make you think there's going to be a ton of like deep healing work although there could be um that would be the extreme example but there's a lot of stuff that you've just not had to deal with up into this point and a lot of that's going to be rising to the surface so as you're thinking and feeling and creating on your own timeline now what divine is saying is now we're going to add this element of bringing in your relationships those people that you have to stay in the flow with and we're going to see if you can hold your vibration while also figuring out how to incorporate this person into this flow of what you're creating and so now you've got to figure out how to heal some of the stuff that's been suppressed some of the stuff that you've been thinking some of the stuff that hasn't had to come up into this point um while you've been navigating your own flow this is now going to start to get introduced you're going to have to learn how to be this amazing artist while somebody else is trying to climb into your canoe and y'all know when you're trying to paddle your canoe and somebody grabs onto it 
that canoe has a highly high capacity or a high high it's highly likely that that canoe could tip right if it's off balance or if the balance is you know not counterweighted and again the healing energy is all about holding that balance holding the frequency at this higher level while you entertain what this other human needs and so you're now doing this juggling act and i really do enjoy this energy because when you look at these two cards, and I'll take a picture of this for later, um, when you look at these two cards laid next to each other, they both have the sacral chakra, the relationships in mirrors of, of one another. And then the the um, heart and the third eye come up up here. And so it's a very interesting energy. You know, you've got you've got sacral chakra is what you're dealing with um, emotionally and physically and then you've got your heart chakra and your third eye chakra for your mastery and this infusion of energy and so you're really trying to um to create a stream a current that includes all things it includes your mastery but it also heals some of these old patterns of the past so while you're doing what you're doing which is being the artist it's thinking and creating at your time when it feels right um, you need to do that now and incorporate this healing aspect that has to come in so that you can continue what you're doing but do it in connection to these beautiful relationships that you've cultivated along the way and so then as we move into um, the duality of this month what the duality is it's all about um and so this comes in at the full moon and the full moon tends to illuminate where we might be out of balance where we might be um getting stuck in our mastery in living um that artistry energy and so the um duality for you will come in and it's going to make you question what you're thinking and so this is a shadow of the third eye chakra it's illusion which means um because now how do we have illusion illusion comes in when we're not seeing clearly right when what we saw in our mind does not turn out how we thought we saw it and so um this is why people will distrust their clairvoyance distrust their intuition because they see it one way they get so connected or locked into the expectation of that um they hold on to how they saw it they don't let that vision evolve at all and so when things don't align to that vision that they saw they think they failed or they think they saw it wrong and then this then takes away that passion that that energized creative energy that they've been feeling and then they feel like what they created didn't really have meaning or it wasn't right so they start distrusting the level of the third eye chakra and so there's gonna be and there is a pattern for you that comes in where you have expectation of again when you think it and feel it you think it you feel it you create it and then as you create it it starts to take on a life and how you thought about it has all this intention behind it why you created the business why you wanted to do that why why you have any idea or thought right you have the idea or the thought as a way to bring something into physical reality but there's a lot of intention behind what you think you're seeing because it connects to something in the past it could lead to a future potential and so we wrap every idea up with a lot of intention and that intention becomes then expectation around how we think we see things and so for you this duality at the end of the month is going to come up with illusion it's going to make you think that what you've been seeing what you've been creating um is not you're gonna be faked out by it you you'll maybe have been so attached to what you thought this should do for you once you created it once you thought it and felt it and created it that you think so much about it or how it should manifest or what the expectation of it is that then when it doesn't happen that way you get mad and then you stop the flow and you get out of that natural flow of the artistry energy and the artistry energy is all about thinking it feeling it creating it and then letting it go like 
letting it be the little butterfly that takes on its own energy, right? And so, um, so we have to be able to um, disconnect from our expectations. And that would be this level of attachment, you know, when, when you think it, and then you attach an expectation to it, you will limit yourself, and then it'll create illusion. And because if it doesn't happen the way you think it should happen, you end up thinking you failed. And then you get yourself out of that artistry flow. And then it's the you know it's the writer that gets writer's block it's the artist that that can't see the painting anymore you know it's all of these energies that you know it's the business person that creates the business plan puts it into action gets the funding starts to build it and then no sales come in right it's this type of an energy there's a reason why you're thinking things feeling it and creating it let those be stepping stones that continue to guide you don't get too hung up on any one creation don't put too much expectation in any one thing. Again, the goal of this month or this month, this year is change. And so every time you think something and feel it and create it, just wait. Within a week, it's going to already need to change and evolve into something new and then something new and then something new. So if you have, if you get wrapped up into any one vision any expectations, any attachments over anything that you're thinking and feeling and creating, um, you will be let down. And that's where the illusion comes in. And so, um, you know, getting this illusion or distrusting what you're thinking, distrusting in what you're you're intending, right? It's, it's this level here in the mind that's going to start to drive you crazy at the end of the month. And this is where the test comes up for you. It's going to be a test of can you continue to stay in the flow even even if what you're creating ends up turning out a bit different or whatever its original intention was turns out totally different than what you thought. Um, so be open to change. Be open to things evolving in new ways. Be open to things not working how you thought they would work. The goal for you is to stay in the flow. When you think it and feel it, move Move with it and just do it because every time you think and feel in that way that the artist thinks and feels and then creates, every time you do that, you're going to create another stepping stone and another stepping stone. And that's all you can hope for right now um, because at the end of the month, you have to pass the test of this illusion to be able to prove that you're constantly knowing how to stay in that most aligned flow. And then the other aspect that comes in is this healing with your relationships. It's about staying real really high vibrational in your relationships and again when that relationship comes and tugs on the side of your canoe to get inside it doesn't completely pull you both into the water that there's an ability to stay balanced and and create balance for the relationships that are also trying to catch a ride down the stream with you, right? <laughs> and so that would be Red Path. Um, Red Path, I encourage you every month, we create um, some really great um, journeys to go along with this. If you're not a member, member get all the journeys for free um, when you're a chakra member. So if you're not, I highly encourage you to sign up because we produce one to two of these amazing journeys every month that go along with these red and blue paths. Um, and if you're not a member and you still want to partake, we do sell them for $9.95 um, that go along with each of these journeys. And you can find that in a link below if you're on YouTube or in the email if you're watching this through the email. So um, with so much light and love, Red Journey. I guess I'm Red Journey unintentionally. I didn't know I was a aligning to it. But I'll be in the canoe or I might swim up to your canoe this month. You never know. Um, so with so much light and love, enjoy the flow. And just remember, the mantra for you is stay in that flow continue to stay in that flow in a really high vibe way and you will be soaring down the streams this divine stream of life all right so now we're going to get into blue path blue path you are here because you have mastered or are now being told you are mastering the healing energy and so what we're going to do now is go over the full moon and the new moon and we're going to start with the new moon as that's what's transitioning right now the new moon energy is all about the activation it's the um it is the moon um cycle bringing in this first glimmer of light after you're opened up after you're exposed to the mastery of what's happening right so the the new moon becomes this wisdom it goes from the darkness to the light right so the new moon is 
is the blackness of, of the, the, the new moon coming. And then as the moon waxes in and grows bigger and bigger and bigger, more of this energy that we're going to talk about comes into your field. And so how you're being activated or what infusion of energy is coming into you right now, and it is actually manifesting to you right now. This is a, a continuing manifestation flow of energy that comes in. Um, and it's all about your willpower um, to align to what you know to be um, your your high self or your um, what your soul is destined for. This is about your destiny connecting to the energy in, that you need in order to continue to move towards your destiny. This is all about evolution. So this is about constantly burning down the old and then rebirthing yourself. We call this the Phoenix energy. Evolution energy is the Phoenix energy. And so um, what's going to start happening and probably right around now, and I'd be even interested to know if you've gone through a little something yourself. You know, the Phoenix energy coming up like this right here with the new moon. I would not be surprised if you recently or will recently or recently or will soon um go through a little like a little healing yourself right and i'm getting like a physical healing vibration to this but it could be you know it could be a random you know um case of like a few hours of like headache nauseousness but nothing really transpires but that's kind of like one of these um ascension emotional kind of um purgings that will happen um or but uh, what i'm actually really going feeling is like a, a phoenix moment where in order to truly embody this energy as it's being brought into your field consciously right now um god we could unpackage that i just got a whole bunch of information um, let's see, do we want to, so, um, you know, with, with readings like this, right, when you fully accept the wisdom of the information that comes in, all of this is, um, channeled information, right, for you in this moment, and you being an open, willing recipient to receive this information, it's all vibrational, and if you accept it, you are literally in a, in a, in a light language way, allowing your, your, what we would call, and I'm going so deep here, what we would call your crystalline DNA, you're allowing things to open within you um, that create now different um, different resonant fields, right? And so if you accept this information in this moment, what will happen is an immediate, it's like a seed, a seed being um, a Insta a seed that was already within you instantly being watered, grown, and now your entire kind of um, energetic makeup will start to resonate at this new acceptance level of information that you're accepting in. And what will happen because of that is a physical purging, an emotional purging, a mental purging, right? Um, and so as you accept the master healer energy and say, oh my God, that's right. What she's saying about Blue Path, I have been going through that. And yes, oh my gosh, this makes so much sense. I've been getting these subtle, subtle messages for a while now, right? And as this mental field actually accepts the information as wisdom, it will allow the crystalline DNA within you to open up a new resonance field that allows this information to work with you in a new way, which means you accept the master healer energy. And what that could do is throw you into your own evolution or Phoenix moment. Um, I know that when we talked about the master healer energy being the mastery of this month and you should have been walking this path healing yourself already or working with healing other people or healing your relationships, all of that is still completely true, of course. Um, but you know, there's now this element that comes in right now that says when you accept that fully vibrationally, um, there might be this now um, need to go through a healing. It's almost like, a, um, you know, shamans would call this like a dark night. This would be like one of these, okay, now that I've accepted this, um, it's an instant, we need to now purge some of the either physical, emotional, or mental energy that's hanging on that was in resistance to the awareness that you now have and carry. And so I would be, um, you know, if you had this happen like 48 hours ago, or if it happens within the next 48 hours, that feels like, or even 72, that feels like a 
a cushion um, that would be very resonant to this this statement we're making right now and so the phoenix energy comes in and says okay with this new moon because you accept this we've got to do a little bit of a purging of your own internal system to get you in alignment and this is going to continue to happen when we come up against um, some blocks within your own field and this is just old imprints of either physical imprints emotional imprints or mental imprints that are in resistance to this healer this natural healing ability that you have we are going to go through another purging and and the phoenix moments could be again a very quick sickness or it could be an in-depth one if um if if that's how it again it all energy all happens how it's most gonna affect you how you it's it's a silly thing to say but um if you're somebody who really needs a drag what is it oh i forget i don't know what that metaphor is um a uh, knockdown drag out is that what they say a knockdown drag out process to truly understand that that's the level at which you're letting something go then that's what you'll manifest if you're somebody who can manifest a scratchy throat and watery eyes for 15 minutes and truly understand oh that was that physical release happening um then that's what you'll manifest again uh, we manifest we manifest at a severity level that that helps us understand what we're releasing so if you want to think you're releasing a lifetime of denser energy to be the healer then you will manifest a stiffness that that embodies a lifetime of he, of energy being released and it could be a week-long purging right i don't wish that on anyone but that's you know it's we all manifest this how we need to manifest it to know that this is what we're doing um this is the work we're doing and so um again it could show up physically it could show up emotionally and i told you how emotional um and an emotional sickness is something where there's no reason why you should be feeling what you're feeling it could be you know um heat, heat and and whatever going like hot and cold flashes or like you know sweaty palms or like a weird headache anomaly headache that comes up that then just goes away two days later you know throws you in the bed for three hours and then it's like completely magically gone um and there's no rhyme or reason why right so these are like things that never end up popping into like a physical sickness but just kind of um mess with us <laughs> um a little bit and they're like anomaly type things like why did that happen that was weird that that just came in and left real quick that would be kind of an emotional release of that um and then mentally um so this this would be the the mind going through all of this so again you know when we when we release things from a mental field it's it's things coming up um and a, a mental sickness right would be um um, things coming up that then we become really um, resistant to it could be patterned things things showing up from a long time ago it could be repeats and patterns coming up um, it's it's the mental blocks it's these types of things that could start to really come up very um, predominantly right now for you to move through so again this new moon for you blue path ushers in um, a very interesting evolution Phoenix moment where um, where you probably are gonna either manifest physical emotional or mental symptoms to show you that you are really again transmuting old stuff and um, allowing yourself to raise that vibration again remember the master healer energy we talked about was you being able to hold this master vibration of love this unconditional love um this this again which is the healing vibration that's where all healing comes through is being able to hold the highest vibrational energies of of love um for other humans right for other consciousness in this um in this physical reality and so um you know allowing you to make any of these shifts that need to happen to just help you to hold more of that higher resonance in your own field so that's your new moon energy so expect some phoenix moments and and the energy that you need to be able to continue to realign yourself to this destiny that you're aligning to and again that's if you accept this information because this has to be a human which is the willpower connected to the high self which is your purpose or your destiny so the evolution only comes if this wisdom of the blue path really settles in 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 like that crystalline structure of your body that then creates a new resonance field for you to operate from so it has to be the willpower 
initiated by the human that then triggers the destiny of the high self or what why your soul incarnated here which will create these evolution moments from either you know three days ago two days ago one day ago all the way up until um, a few days from here, I would expect the first one to happen. Um, and then you can expect some more of those to happen um, if and when you need to transmute or move through some of this um, letting go of, of the density that you were carrying up into this point. Um, and this is really all just to prove to you that you are in this state. Like, the, um, yes, it's, it's aligning, it's shifting, but do you have to manifest any of this? Physically, emotionally, mentally, no, probably not. You could just instantly accept the wisdom of the master healer, have that willpower of the human align with the um, destiny of the high self and have this instant evolution moment where you are the higher vibration. Um, but humans don't tend to operate in that kind of way. We like to have experiences show up that validate what we're going through. And so blue path, I say, if you are human, you will probably manifest these experiences just so you have the validation of the expansion and the heightening of, of your, or the raising, I guess we could say, of your frequency, of this vibratory, of this magnetism, of this everything we've been talking about with your resonance field, right? The shifting of the heart vibration for you. Um, okay, and then your um, your full moon energy, the um, duality comes in, and this is all about when you question um, the destiny, when you question that this is who you are. Um, I love this. Like, Red Path had the same kind of exact, I mean, it just doesn't get more clear than this on each of the paths this month. Um, so with Blue Path, again, this is where you'll shut yourself off again. The, the full moon illuminates the test. It illuminates the big final like test that we have to pass to make sure that we can live the mastery here forward, right? And your mastery is trusting that you are this master healer. Um, and then this is an aspect. It's not the only part of you here, but it's an aspect of your soul destiny that is expressing itself right now. And so um, as we bring this in at the full moon, what you're going to be tested on is this, are you, it's either... Um, it's either this projection of what you think that means and that gets you disconnected from actually living in what is and healers are only healers in this reality because we have other humans that we're in contact with and so if you project what that is into anything that takes you out of the moment and out of being in what is anything that dis that you disassociate from anything that disconnects you from real life um if you find yourself going airy fairy or getting really out there um then then you will be within the um trap or or the um the potential that would disconnect you from that mastery vibration of being able to be in everything that is without without judgment without expectation and holding that highest vibration um, so again, your goal is to, and again, this would be a very spiritual or destiny or purpose oriented goal that takes you out of the moment. So it's a crown chakra energy that pulls you into the future. It's a crown chakra energy that disconnects you from what is actually happening. So I could say this could be like a spiritual narcissism type of a thing, right? Where, because this is what I am, well, then this is what I should be doing. And it's like, no, 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 no. This is what you are because everything that you have been. And if you stop being what you are, you know, or if you try and change what is, then you are judging what is. And now that lowers your vibration and, and takes you out of that master healer. The master healer is only the master healer because they are unconditional, because they're complete, because um, they can hold complete empathy for anything that's going on, because they have a very expansive field that allows them to be all things without judgment um and so again if you try and be something you're not within this it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna take that
that that ability to hold that vibration and it's not as if it will take it away it's always you but it'll take you out of the potential to be that vessel for it in the moments when it's needed because you're going to be totally floating off in airy fairyland somewhere else it's it's a disassociation a disconnection from what is um it's a not wanting to be in what is anymore because you've been exposed to so much more and and that would be j trying to jump the timeline trying to be in something that's not here yet and again you might be sensitive enough to feel into things that are coming like that but um to hang out there um will disconnect you from what you're supposed to be experiencing now and and to be a master healer means you've got to be in every moment that you're being called to be in because you're unconditional and empathic and sensitive and non-judgmental and can can facilitate an energy that is useful in every moment um just by being there and connected to it so don't leave the moment and <laughs> that'll be your that'll be your full moon energy it's like if you find yourself moving into your mental space into the what ifs into the how could we make something amazing out of this you know if you find yourself floating on the clouds with anything in, in, in connection to this towards the end of the month if you find yourself tripping, if you find yourself losing things, you're detached. That's the, when, when any, if you're tripping all the time, if you're falling as you go up the stairs is when I usually do it. I know I'm disconnected, hyper crown chakra. Um, if you're, you know, um, I said, I don't know if anybody else manifests this with me in this state. I'll manifest that I'm so slowed down up there, disconnected from here, that I'll even have to hard time. I'll have to like, I'll be so calculated that I will have a hard time swallowing sometimes. It's this really interesting energy um, of disassociation that disconnects a lot because you're so sensitive up here that it disconnects a lot of these physical things. Um, so again, tripping, losing your keys or misplacing things, forgetfulness, um, these are all signs that you're not passing the master healer test towards the full moon energy at the end of the month. So again, let the full moon just be an illumination. If you fail the test at the end of the month and you find yourself tripping and realize, holy crap, I've been projecting outside and I haven't been in what is, does that mean you fail the test and you're not a master healer? No, it just means, hey, look, you're still human. And these are some of the things you need to watch out for this is where this energy and you tend to butt heads so constantly just be in that in that space of acknowledging it and then and then shifting it and letting go and coming back into what is so that is you blue path and again we create really amazing journeys to go along with these if you are a member of root to crown then you get the journeys for free um so just log into your membership site and they are under um, membership content and then tools and then journeys. You can find all the journeys we've created there. Um, and if you're not a member, join, of course. But if you don't want to join right now, you can always buy the um, journey that we create for this month um, for $9.95. And that'll be in a link below. Um, and that supports everything, the content we create here for you each month. And will support you along your journey. You can expect meditations, breath work, some really cool creative tools, sometimes some of the coloring um, meditations are in there as well with the energies of the cards so um, just a really great way to know intimately the energy you're playing with in your field this month so with so much light and love on your journey I will look forward to seeing you at the full moon if what you seek is seeking you then what are you looking for the part of you that wants to expand it wants to grow and it wants to feel much better than it already does this membership program offers courses to change your reactions and tools to expand your perspective. They're tools. They're just trying to amplify what's already there, make you a better version of self. This is the first time I felt full in my entire life. Guided meditations and live Welcome interactions everybody. will bring validation. Going through these rebirths or this evolution, this form of change, this shift, it is the most exciting part. Explore your potential, embrace your gifts, and empower your life.